What should I do with remainders in a division word problem? When solving a word problem with a remainder, you have three choices. You can round up, you can ignore the remainder, or you can share it. And to make this choice, you have to think about it like real life and what would make sense in real life. That's what makes this so tricky. Let's talk about the first choice. Sometimes you need to round up. In some word problems, it makes the most sense to round your answer up by adding one more to the quotient. If your answer is six remainder three, you would just round up and say that the answer is seven. For example, 33 students are going to the museum. If five students can ride in each car, how many cars are needed? So this division problem is 33 divided by five, which is six remainder three. We've divided those 33 people into groups of five. And when we did that, we needed six cars, but we had three people left out. That's what the remainder means here. It means we filled six cars, but there's still three people standing there, not in a car. You can't leave three students behind. So you have to round your answer up and get an extra car so that everyone can get to the museum. The answer here would be seven cars because six cars is not enough. Add one more to your answer and round it up whenever you can't leave someone out. Another option is to ignore the remainder. When you ignore the remainder, you aren't including it at all in your answer. You just drop it completely and leave it off. Like in this problem, three friends are sharing 13 lollipops. How many lollipops can each person get if they each get the same amount? Well, the division problem we're solving here is 13 divided by three, and that's four remainder one. So what that means is if we divide up 13 lollipops between three friends, they will each get four lollipops and there'll be a lollipop left over. The three friends can't share one lollipop. That doesn't make sense. It's not very possible to cut a lollipop into three equal pieces. In this problem, the answer is just four and the remainder gets dropped or ignored. Each friend will just get four lollipops and we'll set that extra one to the side. You'll want to drop or ignore a remainder anytime it cannot be easily shared or split. You have to think about it like real life. You can share a cookie between two people, but not a balloon. The third option is to share the remainder. Sometimes it makes sense to share a remainder. To do this, you would include it as part of your answer, usually as a fraction or decimal. Let's look at an example of a problem where you would want to share the remainder. Sarah and Elizabeth want to share seven cookies. How many cookies can each girl get if they each get the same amount? Well, this problem is seven divided by two. We're dividing seven cookies up between the two girls, Sarah and Elizabeth, and that's three remainder one. So what that means is if the two girls share seven cookies, they can each get three cookies and there's going to be one extra cookie left over. Since it's easy to break or cut a cookie in half, to share between the two girls, the answer here is three and a half. Each girl can have three and a half cookies. Only use share it when you can easily share the leftovers between the number of groups. You have to make sure it makes sense in real life. Share it often works with food, money, and measurement. In this problem, we were talking about cookies, and it is easy for two girls to share one cookie. But if we had been talking about marbles or balloons, that wouldn't make sense. You can't cut a marble or a balloon in half to share. Reminders, round up. Add one more to your quotient when you cannot leave someone out. For this, we used the example of the students going to the museum. We needed 
to round up and add an extra car so that everyone was able to get to the museum. We couldn't leave anyone behind. Ignore it. That's when you drop the remainder and you do this when the leftovers cannot be easily shared between the number of groups. The other option is to share it. That's when you include the remainder as a fraction or a decimal, when it makes sense to share, like in the example of two girls sharing seven cookies. 